Charles, thank you so much for uh, joining me today. Thanks for having me. It's my pleasure. Um, you've been facilitating with MLS for a long time, and we wanted to help everyone get to know you better. And so tell us about your journey becoming a chiropractor. Um, in fact, actually, I, I don't think I have a typical uh, journey uh, for me to become a chiropractor. Typically, what we hear as a story is a, a person, for example, who went to a chiropractor, changed his life, and decided to go to school. Or either you know a chiropractor in, in your family, or uh, your dad, your, your mother was a chiropractor. This, this was not my case at all. Okay. Uh, actual, actually, I never... I never went, never went to a chiropractor until I, I, I became a student. Really? And the first, the first time actually I, I heard about chiropractic was from my teacher, um, one of my teachers just before uh, I had to choose either uh, uh, I decided to, either I decided at that time to study in, into physical therapy or into sportive medicine, but I didn't know about, I didn't know anything about chiropractic. And that teacher told us that he went every year for a, to, for an annual checkup to a chiropractor. Now I can say that once a year is not necessarily enough, <laughs> but that, that simple sentence ignited in, in, inside of me my curiosity to go, uh, to go further. And uh, I look into um, the program was just started a few years ago in Trois-Rivières. It was a French program, and obviously, as you can hear me, I have a <laughs> French is my first language. It's, it, it's not English, and um, I I didn't have necessarily the the guts to uh, study into uh, to go to the state to study chiropractic, and that that was the perfect the perfect opportunity for me. Uh, it's funny because at that time, even though I didn't know anything about chiropractic, I I never hesitated. It was like a no-brainer for me to 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 go into chiropractic school, and I never never regretted it. And in fact, it it was only after my third year as a student that I really discovered what was chiropractic. I um, I attended a Parker seminar. It was I think in 2002, the 50th anniversary of uh, the Parker seminar, with more than 10,000 people. And at that time. I heard people like um, Deepak Chopra, Wayne Dyer, John DeMartini, Patrick Jatempo, Gilles Lamarche, who became uh, my mentor and is one of my good friends also. So I really, uh, I really, um, I had goosebumps actually. I cannot necessarily describe what I heard at that time, but as Maya Angelou said, uh, you, you, people won't remember what you say or what you do to them, but you, they will always remember what you, how you make them feel. So, and, and I only remember the feeling I had at that time at Parker Seminar. And I, I, I at that time, I knew at 100% that I was made to be a chiropractor or to, or at least to be in that field, that space, that philosophy of life, that lifestyle. And, um, it's so much fun. And I, I can I can't describe any any better the feeling that that I had at that time. That's amazing. And so, somewhere along the way, you somehow met Arno Bernier. <laughs> yeah, of course. But during my last at my last my fifth year in in chiropractic school, Arno came to Trois-Rivières to teach MLS. Mm -hmm. And again, it there is no coincidence in life. But uh, I haven't heard of Arno before. And um, a first year student, her name is Annie Claude. She, uh, she was the one who organized the, the, the MLS in Trois-Rivières. And again, I just remember myself crying after the, the seminar because I was so much filled with a lot of gratitude. And I, I had the feeling that I met um, an old soul and a whole mentor of mine, even though it was the first time. And Arno also became one of my dearest mentors in chiropractic. I decided that I wanted to, to, to be that type of chiropractor. So uh, I decided to follow him um, on, on social media. And also I went to the camp, uh, his masterpiece training camp. I don't know if you, if you have heard of, of that uh, I have special an, I'm event. I'm so jealous that <laughs> I missed the window by only a couple of years. Oh, yeah. I attended the last one, actually. So it was uh, very um, transformational, uh, 
it was a breakthrough experience actually and um, physical mental emotional spiritual at, at, at in every level yeah. and i attended also his advanced training camp so basically the person that i am today and the chiropractor that i am today i owe a lot to uh, arno's work and arno's philosophy so um, it's a deep honor for me to to walk in the same on the same path that he, he decided to open up for a lot of chiropractors, tens of thousands of chiropractors now that um, are practicing a vitalistic uh, way of practicing chiropractic. And uh, I think that we, Arnaud deserves a lot of credit for that. I, uh, obviously, obviously, I have done also a lot of seminar and work on myself, uh, personal development stuff and coaching, mentoring. Uh, I have invested so much money, time, and resources and energy on myself that it the the, the end result is uh, is the person who I am today. But Arno is a has a big part, uh, special. He has a special place in my heart. Absolutely, and I think in a lot of ours too who have met him. And yeah. you alluded to it. Um, Arno talks about calls it the path of mastery, and it's something that you've definitely engaged in over the years. Mm, yeah. um, what is, for you, what has that path of mastery been? What does that, that phrase even mean to you? To be an empath of mastery for me is to take 100% responsibility for your own life mm. and to play full out. So what does that mean? Uh, for me, it's to be an endless student. So the, the day that you say to yourself that you, you are arrived, you know, that's the day you start to decline. So for me, life is about grow, growth. It's about evolution. It's about contribution. So if you, if you became better as a person, then you can give more and you can contribute. No, that's the, that's the purpose of life for me. And to be in a path of mastery is to be in a position of observer, not um, to observe life, without any judgment, without any interpretation, without any emotion, and then ask yourself deep and important question like, um, what are the priority for you in your life? What's the most important things? And what do you choose? What, what will you choose to do and to contribute with what you observe? And for me, um, my most important values are obviously my personal development, my health, my growth, my family, and leadership and excellence. I want to be, I don't know where it came from, but um, where it comes from, but I, I have a deep sense of being the best self that I can be. And I think that everybody, every, not everybody, you don't have to be like this, but the humanity and life expect from you to be at your 100%. If you don't want to be a spectator of your life, but you want to be a contributor, then you have to be on the path of mastery. Because you will feel, if, if you don't, then you will, you will allow life or other people outside of yourself dictates how your life will be. And if you, if you want to have control on your life, you, you don't have control on a lot of things, but the thing that you have the control on, we must focus, we must focus on those things. So how you think, how you talk, how do you talk, uh, what are your actions, your rituals, your lifestyle, you can create those, you can create your emotion, you can create your energy level, but we, we are not educated, nobody teaches us how to do it, and it's our responsibility to discover how to do it, and so first we have to love ourselves enough to allow ourselves to be maybe better than you can, than you that you think that you can be. I don't know if I <laughs> said that correctly. You said it uh, perfectly, and there's so much depth in what you're saying. And, mm. and w this year, I think, is the 2020 that we're in right now has posed a um, very good opportunity for growth for a lot of us. Yeah, especially knowing how much work you've done for yourself and all of that inner journey. Um, how, what are the best ways you found to move through stressful times, challenging times? You know, what, what brings you back and gets you centered when mm. it feels and seems like the world is falling apart around you? That's a great question. And obviously 2020 was not 
the way that it was supposed to be for a lot of people. <laughs> I don't know a lot of people who decided that 2020 would be that dream year. <laughs> and I know nobody who, who draw this on their vision board, you know. <laughs> so when there is a lot of stress, a lot of uncertainty, uncertainty like we are experiencing right now, like I said, the best thing that you, we can do for ourselves is to observe first, to observe without reacting, without judging, without trying to interpret, interpret the story or the meaning of this. And we can, we can look at, at different uh, and information media, social media, stuff like this, but the best thing to do right now is just to observe, to close everything else from the outside and focus on your inner self. What's going on right now? What are the most important priorities? And then what, what, is, what are your choices about this right now? So we have, the, we, have to control, we have to control our own inner self, our own energy level, our own, we have to take care of our, of our health, of our mindset, of our family, those critical, that the core value of your life. If it's not clear right now, you have to clarify this for yourself. Because it's very, very, very easy right now to be all around and distracted with, with what's going on right now. So how we can manage our, into, ourselves into stressful, stressful time, basically it's to close as much as you can, close yourself from the outside world and connect with your inner, inner self. And then you can decide how you, how you, how you can act instead of reacting. So to be proactive instead of being a victim of what's going on right now, you have the control. You have, you have, you have to focus on the things that you can control. It's basic, it's simple, but it's also very simple to, to do the opposite. So we have to remember this, this simple truth, but th that's how we will, we will, we can thrive through those times. We can choose to be in a position of leadership, instead of being in a position of victim and waiting for, for permission, for, for allowance from our politician, our governor, um, from anybody else to, 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 to be okay, to, to practice the way that we want to practice, to, to, to live that we want to live. Or we can decide to be the leader and to, be, and to set an example of how we can manage things right now. So coming from the inside out, one might say. <laughs> yes, it's a, it's the philosophy of chiropractic. And chiropractic, it's not the philosophy of chiropractic. For me, it's a philosophy of life. Chiropractic, in a vitalistic point of view, it's perfectly aligned with this philosophy, this inside out philosophy. Because we can, we can look in, a, in different areas of life, there is also this inside out philosophy in nutrition, in, in sports and in exercise and in, in mental health and in, in, in chiropractic, it's the same. If we commit to live our life according to those principles from the inside out, the, the perspective of life is, is, uh, is a lot different than you, if, you, if you do the opposite. So then you can be in charge of your life instead of waiting for permission of waiting to for someone else to do some things. You can do something about everything that, 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 it's happening, that is happening right now. It's really up to you. It, it doesn't, doesn't mean that you have to set big, big, big goals and, and dream and stuff like this. Just start by a small step. And that's, why, that's, the, that's the thing that, I'm, that I love about MLS. It's for us to remember the basic foundation of being a great chiropractor in your presence, in your way, and in the way that, that you approach the, approach the person that you have in, uh, on your table, and the way that you will set up your, your, your positioning, your, your contact point, your adjustment, those are all the basic foundation. But if we don't master those foundation, everything else is, a, is like a, a distraction on a pile of something that is very fragile you know yeah it, do, it doesn't have that foundation on which to stand 
Yeah, so, so, so to answer your question, how we can manage and ourselves ourself and to stress, uh, in stress, during stressful time is to remember the basic foundation of your life and to to recommit yourself to master those foundations instead of trying to find a, a, for another solution another recipe uh, the, the home run that it will that will solve everything else the the answer is always into the small detail into your basic foundation I feel like we could end the interview right there. I think <laughs> <laughs> that was that was absolutely wonderful. And you've been teaching MLS for a while now. You've been lead instructing for a couple of, for a couple of years, if I understand correctly. What are some of the amazing? Because you and I can talk back and forth about what it's done for our lives. Yeah. What are some of the amazing success stories you've seen from people who have come to the seminar, who have who you've trained in this approach to life chiropractic and serving people? What are some of your favorite success stories that from other people? Uh, I can say that for, for, for me as a teacher or as a, a staff member or as a student, if I observe, basically, it's not a scientific study, or, you know, but the, almost 100% of the people who attended at least one MLS has seen his life, its life transform in some way. Um, again, transformation is very subjective. It depends of uh, uh, it depends of a, a many, many, many factors. But what MLS does basically it it opens the possibility, the field of possibility for a person. Because if you if you just follow the the road uh, at school, you know it's it's very. I'll try to stay very uh, diplomat, but it's very limited. You know, if you stay at school, if you don't do any seminar or stuff like this, it's limited because they, they can, they can, teachers can, cannot simply teach everything that exists in chiropractic. It will be too much. And the purpose of the school is to, for, for you to pass your board and to get your license. But if you want to develop yourself as a great chiropractor, or if you want to be your best self, and be among the leader and not necessarily the, the majority of the people without any judgment, then you have to do some seminar or stuff, stuff outside of your school. And what I love about MLS, and I, I can see the difference before the seminar and right after the seminar, the light into the eyes of people is a lot different. And it opens, like I said, it opens the field of possibility. It opens the, the mind so the people are really, really, um, uh, how can I say that? They know now the difference between an average, <laughs> being an average and being excellent. They know the importance of training. They know now the importance of being present. Just being present creates a lot of impact, even before you are just a person. And I can see that the, for many participants who came back, for many MLS, the, the improvement in their skills and their presence and their energy and their focus and their strength, inner strength, it's, for me, it's, a, it's really impressive. And that's, how, that's why Arno calls MLS a training. It's a training. It's not, it's not an event. It's a process. It's, it's, a, it's a part of the path to mastery. But... You have to create your. You have to create your own path. Your own path. You don't. You you're not forced to go into MLS. But what I love about MLS is we teach stuff that is not taught in anywhere else. So um, success story. It can be different for a lot of people, but just the just the difference between the energy, the focus, the cap the, the the ability to be grounded and to be strong, not necessarily physically, but energetically, there's a shift, even just after one MLS. And if you come back for another MLS, two, two times, three times, et cetera, I came, I came as a student maybe, I, I've attended MLS as a student maybe eight or nine times. And I, I, I staffed with Arnaud for more than 15 times. And I teach now MLS, for more than five years, and every time 
I go to MLS seminar, either as a student, teacher, or a staff member, I learn a lot on myself also. And I know that I'm creating my success story every time I attend a MLS seminar. And that's, that is my intention for the people that I have the honor and the privilege to, to serve as a, an MLS leader during a seminar. So maybe for a lot of people, the perception, the, the, the learning process is different, but it's all come back for, from your inner intention before the, the seminar. And I can look around all the people who, 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 met, who, meet, uh, who met Arnaud at least one time in their life. I know what type of chiropractor this person is. And I, I, can, I can guess that this person is very successful in practice because this person implement, implement the principle of, of life, of vitality, of, of according for me, from for a uh, uh, principle of what is true chiropractic and it's uh, it's undeniable we can i cannot argue with that and maybe we can find for sure we can probably find some other great people outside of the mls <laughs> scope but um people are like alike meets alike you know so we we attract those kind of of persons so if if the, the for your audience if you if you are listening to this interview and you, you are attracted by this uh, uh, philosophy and you know that you have inside of you the desire to, to grow, to be your best self and to serve people at a high level, it's not a matter of number, it's a matter of quality of time with each person, then my invitation is for, me, for you to, to attend at least one MLS and maybe more than one MLS with different teacher to know different style. And then you can learn what can be your style as a chiropractor and as a person. That's really important because I think what, one of the things that separates us from potentially other trainings or especially school, like let's put all the other amazing chiropractors who are teaching seminars aside for a moment, just from school is it feels very robotic how we're taught mm -hmm. to adjust, how we're taught to work with other people and serve people. And i one of the things that I love about MLS is we give the foundation, the foundational skills of how to approach someone, be present with them, adjust them and serve them from a place of peace and ease, both in them and in ourselves. And then as time goes on, your inner artistry gets to come out, blending with the science and blending with yeah. your philosophy and your perspective on things and your unique experience. It's one of the, it's very much not a, like, here's your recipe book. It's much more of a, how do you create your own recipes and create your yeah. own art and yeah. application of the principle. And thank you for saying that because it, it reminds me a story when I was at school and um, I was not so confident at that time with my skills. And I asked uh, one of my friends who, who is still <laughs> older than me, and I, I asked him, how can you be more fast and more, more precise into your adjustment? I, can I increase my speed? Do you have any exercise or advice to give me? And my friend replied, you know what? You just have to be very calm, very present, and let the speed inside of you go out. So you you have all the skills inside of you you just have to be calm present open for for your skill in order for your skill to 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 express themselves so that's one of the things that i love the most about mls it it covers all the important parts of of the being the physical part because it's a physical training we learn how to adjust. We learn how to train. We learn how to train our physical body to be ready, to be strong, to be sustainable, to be, to be a, a chiropractor for many years. And then we learn also the mental and the emotional and the energetical aspect, the spiritual aspect. Those, those are super important and we don't learn those aspects necessarily in, in many chiropractic seminars that i know so maybe it's uh it's it, it it is covered outside of mls obviously but mls covers it all 
And that's the thing that I love the most about MLS. The importance of being in a in a in a physical state, in a mental, emotional, a spiritual state to be ready, to be present, to be at 100 percent for the person that you have the honor and the privilege to serve. And we learned, we, we, we cover a few things uh, during MLS, but it's uh, because it's a process, it's not an event, that the most, most MLS that you come, then you learn something that you are ready to learn. Most people, they come, they come with the, the school mindset or the, the average mindset. I don't want to judge again, I'm just an observer, but the first time we attend an MLS, an MLS seminar, then we can get one or two things and we have a certain level of consciousness. Our level of awareness is a lot different. And the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. And then we can learn that's how we grow. That's how we evolve. It's by, by cycle and by repetition and the repetition of the key foundation. We cannot learn any, everything at the same time. It's impossible because our mind is not open as much as it is during the first, uh, the, the second or the third, th third time we, you do the, uh, you do an MLS seminar. Oh, so no. the first time I, I attended my MLS, the first time, I don't remember anything about, <laughs> about it, about, except for the fact that I, I was very emotional, like I said, and the fact that, shit, I don't understand anything. <laughs> so I needed to come back. <laughs> <laughs> So, so because I decided to uh, to not giving up on myself, and I decided to to go back to to many MLS seminar, I I can thank myself enough and thank Arno enough to to uh, to offer us this opportunity to to grow and to to build ourselves. And and one thing that I that occurred to me while you were talking is so many seminars are specifically focused on one part of the of the population, whether it's um, the elderly or pediatrics or athletes. The skills that we go over in MLS allow us to serve newborn babies, pregnant moms, professional athletes, the weekend warriors, and everyone in between. And yeah, you know, of course, because it's not a technique; it's an approach. Mm -hmm. Whatever your technique is. Whatever your philosophy is, I will say, even if you don't necessarily believe, believe in philosophy, by the way, it is a philosophy. <laughs> to not believe into a philosophy, it is your a philosophy. Anyway, uh, it, I, yeah, I said it's an approach, it's not a technique. So if you know how to be present, how to be connected with yourself and with the, the person that you have the honor and the privilege to serve, then you can adapt your approach and your technique to anybody whatever it's a newborn baby or a 90 year old person or a football player, whatever, you know what? I'm, I'm six foot tall and I weigh only maybe 135 pounds and I can adjust anybody, even, even a 350 pound football player. I'm not scared about that. I'm not intimidated about that because I know that I can be connected present and my, I know that my skill to be, very humble but again to honor myself <laughs> i have great skills I'm, i know that i'm a good chiropractor but i know that i can be a lot better and that's why i keep teach mls because it's a part of my training also and i i still go to seminar i still work on myself for me it's a like like i said it's the path into mastery the, the endless student path and the more I, that I have to learn, the more that I know, the more that I know that I need to learn more because the more that I know that I don't know. <laughs> Ain't it the truth, brother? <laughs> well, I, I really think that's a, a fantastic place for us to um, finish up. Uh, sir, where do you practice so, so everyone can know? Yeah, I'm based in Mon near Montreal, south shore of Montreal. It's called Mont Saint-Hilaire. 20,000 people community. It's a nice place. If you want to visit me, you're welcome. And uh, if you want to attend into a, if you want to attend an MLS seminar, I teach MLS in Trois Rivières at the near the campus, mm -hmm. uh, near the university, and also in Paris. Uh, Paris, it's a 100% French taught seminar. But if you, if you are okay with that, or if you want to learn French, then you are more than welcome to, uh, to come. 
Well, Charles, thank you so much for taking the time. Um, I know you literally jumped right from serving people onto this call, um, and that really speaks to the presence that you hold and the focus that you have. And so thank you so much for everything you do for MLS, for chiropractic, for the people you serve, and for our growing community. And we'll put a link to both uh, Charles, Charles's website in the bottom here or in the description and to MLSseminars.com where you can see all of the opportunities to learn uh, both in the States and across Europe and in Canada uh, coming up soon. And thank you all so much. Thank you for your uh, kind words, Nathan. It was a great pleasure to, uh, to, to talk with you. Hi, everybody. Pleasure was all mine.